Hey bro, my name is Kyle. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you much for stopping by. So it's been a while since I've created any content on this uh, channel and I'm super, super excited to be back in action. And I figure why not uh, start by uh, reacting to some Overwatch 2 animated shorts. And so it's been a while since I actually watched some Overwatch. So I'm probably forgetting a lot of lore when it comes to Overwatch, but the last trailer or Overwatch animated short that I actually reacted to on this channel was Overwatch 2 Zero Hours, which I believe if my memory serves correctly, that it's the beginning of Overwatch 2, like right before they kind of launched the game. And so it's been forever since I've watched any Overwatch 2 stuff. So I'm super, super excited to react to some more Overwatch 2 content. And so in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Genesis Part 1 Dawn of the Overwatch animated short. Well, I'll be reacting to all three of them in three separate videos. So this is going to be Part 1. And yeah, so I'm super, super excited. I'm just going to read a little bit of the YouTube description of what I'm supposed to be expecting in this animated short, which is um, they said that it, it's a bid to own the future. Omricon Corp scientists are left to wonder if they have solved a problem or created the Omnia crisis. So it's going to be really, really interesting. I'm super, super excited. And yeah, uh, before we jump right in, make sure you follow me on my Instagram, my subscribe to this channel, and also follow me on my Twitch. I was streaming at Twitch a while ago, but I want to revitalize it. So catch me up on Twitch over there so we can finally um, stream, stream together, play some video games together. I'm super, super excited. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Ground forces deployed to Rally Point Green. Sky, what's your inbound? Roger, 30 seconds. Oh, shit. Okay. Battalion spotted your sector, 50 clicks south southeast. Copy that. Delta, take positions. Okay, there. There's a mission. Taking heavy fire. Sky, confirm targets. Affirm. Units approaching. Grid point one nine Charlie. You've been spotted. You've been spotted. Get out of here, Sky. Get out of here. Oh, oh shit. No matter what you call them, warbots, Team Kens, they were soulless machines. But the truth is, we were scared. Oh, scared. robots are taking over. <laughs> they were supposed to be the beginning of a new life. Whoa! But in that moment, it felt like the end of humanity. Robots are taking over. I guess the mission failed. <laughs> Life before the war was extraordinary. Anything was possible. We had implemented God programs. The next generation of artificial That's intelligence cool. became omnipresent. They controlled most of our infrastructures, like the food distribution systems, aimed at helping against famine. Perfect. That's pretty cool. I'm like the futuristic aspect. We were no longer defined by our mistakes. No. The AIs were saving us from them. Like a bunch of Teslas Artificial everywhere. <laughs> intelligence was running systems to make our lives better, but what was really exciting was combining it with robotics. Omnica Corp started building a new line of state of the art robots. And then obviously something happened, Comics some invasion happened with the robots the turned on them to do all those idle, mundane, often dangerous jobs. Everyday needs that puts power at your fingertips. A line of robots that put power by your side <laughs> and geared up to put power in their hands. Omnica Corp, always looking to what's next. Society embraced it. Sure, we had the pedal to the metal, but who was really paying attention to the role? <laughs> Look, Omnica kept making robots smarter, and they made life <laughs> easier and safer. And as you know, uh, this business is all. It seemed like society accepted it until like that happened. That incident what happened. Mina. 
And in Tech Talk, OmniCore announced today that Dr. Mina Liao, a science prodigy and eminent visionary in robotics, will develop the next generation of Omnics. OmniCore has made a lot of strides, and, well, we're going to do better. The same. What I mean is, they've done great. We've done great. But it's time to reach for the stars. Frankly, I had my doubts. Uh, Dr. Liao was a legend in her field, but we were asking her to push the limits of what many thought was... I mean, good for her. ...already perfection. For uh, creating the, new, n the next level of robots. Somebody should have put a stop to it. It wasn't science. It was arrogance. Yeah, because obviously it got out of hand. When it came down to the moment of truth, we had no idea uh -oh. what was about to happen. The AI is taking over now. <laughs> it didn't just activate. She was born. Life before the war was extraordinary. Anything uh, was possible. But it was all about to change. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was part one of Genesis Dawn. I actually really enjoyed this this animated short. I'm looking forward to part two. Um, very different from the other animated shorts that I previously watched on the channel, where it was kind of more like an animated style um, versus they're more like CGI animated shorts that they've done previously for Overwatch. But I'm looking forward to watching part two and three of this whole... Um, AI technology it almost seemed like the scientist was really courageous and they built and she built the next step into the AI technology and these new um, Omnix but then I also feel like that they're starting to take over a bit too much um, where I think we saw in the beginning of the video where they were actually taking over the labs and things were starting to get out of hand like that um, Ricardo was saying so I think we're going to be starting to see all that happening. But yeah, I'm super, super excited to watch the part two and three. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, comment down below on what you thought about this Overwatch animated short. If you're an Overwatch 2 player that is super active with the lore, comment down below on what I should be watching next and what I should be looking forward to to and other links or other videos I should watch and react to on this channel. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much. Bye now.